Hi, in this video we're going to talk about nonlinear differential equations in the form x dot is equal to f of x. And in particular, we're going to talk about the stability of fixed points. Let me show you what I mean. Let's plot x versus f of x like this. Now, this could look like anything, but let's say it looks like this. These points here that I'm circling in orange are points of zero velocity, and as we'll see, they're pretty important. I'll denote them with an x star. I'll call this one x star 1, this one x star 2, and this one x star 3. These points are technically called fixed points, and they can be found by solving where f of x star is equal to zero. Let's analyze each one of these fixed points in more detail. We'll start by performing a Taylor series expansion about any fixed point we have, x star. A Taylor series is just a way of expressing your function as an infinite polynomial involving derivatives evaluated at your fixed point. These first terms are the linear terms, and these other terms that contain x minus x star to the power of two or more are called higher order terms. As you might have guessed, we can find a linear approximation of our curve by neglecting the higher order terms. This is okay to do as long as x is close to x star, making each of these higher order terms approximately zero anyway. Also, notice that the f of x star term is zero because that's the definition of our fixed point. All this means is that we can approximate our function f of x as the first derivative of f evaluated at x star times x minus x star. Next, recall that f of x is equal to x dot, which is equal to dx dt. And so what we have here is a linear differential equation that can be solved. So let's solve it, and we'll do so by integrating both sides and dividing by x minus x star. When we do the integration on the left hand side, we'll get the natural log of x minus x star. And on the right hand side, f dash of x star is just a constant, right? Because it's your derivative evaluated at some known point. So we can suck that out of the integral sign and then get f dash of x star times t plus some integrational constant, which I'll call c. Then if we e to the power of both sides to get rid of that log term, then we'll get the solution x minus x star is equal to some constant, which I'll call a, times e to the power of f dash of x star times t. And this is great news, because we've just found the equation of motion near the fixed point, x star. And now that we have our equation of motion, we can tell that our derivative tells us some really useful information. If we were to plot time versus x minus x star like this, then we can see how our solution behaves. When t is equal to zero, x minus x star is equal to our constant a. But notice, if f dash of x star is greater than zero, then our solution will skyrocket as time goes on. In contrast, if f dash of x star is less than zero, then our solution will decay to zero as time goes on. This gives us information about the stability of our fixed point, because if f dash of x star is greater than zero, then we can call this fixed point unstable. It's unstable because x minus x star, which is the distance from our fixed point, will grow exponentially fast. Meaning that if you started near your fixed point, you'll diverge away from that fixed point. Likewise, if f dash of x star is less than zero, then we can call this fixed point stable. It's stable because the distance from your fixed point decays to zero, implying that if you start near your fixed point, you'll get sucked towards that fixed point. Now admittedly you may notice that I've skipped a special case where f dash of x star is exactly equal to zero. In this special case, our linearization theory breaks down because the higher order terms can't be assumed to be negligible anymore. And so the stability needs to be analyzed on a case by case basis. Okay, now that we've covered all this theory, let's describe what it actually means. Well, 
This first fixed point, which I've shown here, will be unstable because it has a derivative greater than zero at that point. This second fixed point will be stable because it has a derivative less than zero at that point. And this fixed point will be unstable because it has a slope greater than zero at that fixed point. And there we go. That's a proof for the stability of fixed points for one dimensional flows. If you like, I've got a whole mini series on nonlinear differential equations. So check out those videos if you like as well. Cheers.